Who is it? It's you. You who? You you. You you who? There's no shortage of video doorbells to choose from today. The market is full of options from Ring, Nest, August, and dozens of others. About a year ago, I published a review on the Ring Video Doorbell 2, which I'll include a link in the description for if you'd like to see that one. With all of the options available today, it really comes down to what features are important to you and the price. And as far as features go, how does no subscription fees sound to you? Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Eufy Video Doorbell and if it's worthy of consideration. Before I dive in, take a moment and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. I'm Matt Farrell, welcome to Undecided. The reason I went with the Ring Video Doorbell 2 a year and a half ago, and probably the most critical part of deciding which doorbell is right for you, power. It was the best option that didn't require existing doorbell wiring. Most video doorbells on the market require between 16 volts and 24 volts of power. But the Ring Video Doorbell 2 has an onboard battery that gives you between five and six months of power before needing to be recharged. I'd still recommend it as an option for folks without existing wiring, but if you have power available, there are better options today. And that leads me straight into the Eufy Video Doorbell. I'd like to thank Eufy for sending me the doorbell to check out, and just like with my Eufy Cam E security camera review, there were no strings attached, so my opinions are my own, no holds barred. A few basic specs worth calling out are that the doorbell is IP65 rated for outdoor weather and has operating temperatures between negative four and 122 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 20 and 50 degrees Celsius. You also need to have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi available. When it comes to power, the Eufy Video Doorbell requires between 16 volts and 24 volts. So how did I power it if I don't have doorbell wiring? Well, I ended up buying a 24 volt power supply and wire for under $20 that was designed specifically for people in my situation. You plug it into an outlet inside the house close to the door and then fish the line as best you can to the outside. In my case, I was able to drill a small hole through a closet wall to the outside to place the doorbell in the location I wanted. And yes, that is a cat toy sticking through my wall. I use that to fish the wire through the hole. If you do have existing doorbell wiring, but you aren't sure of the voltage, you can usually find the voltage printed on the doorbell transformer if you can find it. Or you can pick up an affordable multimeter from a hardware store and test the line. Out of the box, the Eufy provides a wireless door chime that you can drop into any outlet, plus mounting plate, screws, extension cables, and an angled wall plate in case you need to adjust the angle of the camera. Installing the doorbell is very straightforward. You attach the mounting plate to the wall around the wire, screw down the wires to the terminals on the back of the doorbell, and then snap it into place on the mount. That's it. And before anyone asks in the comments, I had a special mount 3D printed to fit over my vinyl siding. Otherwise it wouldn't sit flat. I'll include a link in the description to the Etsy merchant that I work with to create it for me. It's affordable and it makes for a very neat installation. The app setup process was just as simple. After powering up the doorbell, you scan a QR code from the packaging. It's also on the back of the doorbell and it authenticates and connects your doorbell to your Wi-Fi. The first time user experience is top notch, just like setting up the Eufy Cam E. They have clear directions at each step and video tutorials to help as well. There's a similar procedure for setting up the chime and then you're essentially done. Probably the most important aspect of a video doorbell is, <laughs> unsurprisingly, the video camera. And this is one area where the Eufy Video Doorbell comes out swinging against the competition. Most of the best-selling video doorbells on the market have camera resolutions around 720p to 1080p. The top of the line Ring Doorbell Pro takes 1080p video, as does my current Ring Video Doorbell 2. One downside of that type of resolution is the wide 16 by nine aspect ratio. It's using a lot of that resolution on a wider image instead of using it on more height. That's why some video doorbells have gone with a four by three ratio like the August doorbell cam at 1280 by 960, or the Nest doorbell's very high resolution of 1600 by 1200. Well, the Eufy Video Doorbell crushes all of those doorbells with a 2K 4x3 resolution at 2560 by 1920. To put all of that in context, the 1080p and Nest cameras have a little over two times more pixels than the 720p cameras. And the Eufy has a little over two times more than the 1080p cameras. At its highest settings, the Eufy video quality is crisp and easy to make out faces from a good distance away. 
the camera tends to blow out the brightest sections of the video, but that's because the camera is adjusting to the lower light levels that are closer to the camera and my setup. It's doing the right thing to ensure that the faces are properly exposed at the expense of the sky being blown out. If you turn on the HDR feature, then those details come back to those blown out locations, but you'll notice the colors get a little more muted. I found leaving the HDR feature off to be the better use for my case. The UV has a built-in microphone and speaker, like pretty much every other video doorbell on the market. So you can hear and talk to the people at your front door. One feature I think is pretty handy is the quick response feature. When you're viewing a live feed, you just tap the little speech balloon icon, make your choice, and it plays the recording. There are some pre-recorded messages that say things like, Excuse me, can I help you? Or, Please leave it at the door. You can also record your own. I'll be right there. Another nice feature is being able to save out screenshots in real time, as well as activating a recording. The motion detection is also top notch. My Ring Video Doorbell 2 can be hit or miss with triggering a recording, which is mainly due to its reliance on low power infrared sensors to detect movement. The Ring Video Doorbell Pro and the Nest Doorbell are using more advanced methods like using the camera itself. This type of system is far more accurate and reduces the false recordings and notifications. The Eufy is using something just like this, a more advanced form of detection, and it's been working extremely well. It compares if there's a change in pixels and can also use machine learning to determine if it's a person or a face coming into view. You can configure the sensitivity of the system to dial in how frequently it will record and notify you. And if you'd rather not use the face detection at all, you can customize motion detection zones to narrow down the notification frequency. One thing I really appreciate about the face detection is the actual notification you get on your phone. If it's available, it will include a cropped thumbnail image of the person's face. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll have seen the trend that I've been moving more of my smart home to more locally hosted options wherever I can. And the Eufy fits right in with that. It has four gigabytes of built-in memory to store about a week's worth of videos, which means there's no subscription fee and you maintain tighter control over your data. It also means that the video will still get recorded if your internet goes down or is spotty. But if the power goes out, you're out of luck because there's no onboard battery backup. The downside to having data stored directly in the doorbell is that if somebody steals the doorbell, they've also stolen all the recordings as well. That's not something I'm too concerned about, but Eufy does have an optional cloud service starting at $299 for their Eufy security line of products if that's something you're looking for. The doorbell in practice has been amazing so far. It's only missed a couple of recordings compared to my ring missing dozens during that same testing period. And the false alarms have been non-existent. The doorbell appears to be recording a non-stop video stream into a buffer because it captures three seconds of video before the actual triggered moment. On my ring, there are countless recordings of someone's back as they're leaving the front door because it didn't trigger until they were already at the top of the stairs. With that three second buffer on the Eufy, we're getting better recordings of people walking up the walkway towards the door now, not just the side or back of their head. And the night vision mode works just as well as you'd expect. The notifications have been timely. I've been seeing the motion notifications pop up right around the moment the person actually reaches the front door. A doorbell press triggers a notification within half a second to one second on my phone. And the wireless chime inside the house goes off instantly. The only delays I've noticed are when using the push to talk feature. The Eufy Video Doorbell has some well executed features and specs, and it performs extremely well. But what does it cost? It comes in at $160 which makes it cheaper than the Ring Video Doorbell 2, the Ring Video Doorbell Pro, the Nest Doorbell, and the August Doorbell, just to name some of the more popular options out there. Not only is it cheaper, but you're getting one of the best video resolutions in its class, as well as some of the more advanced features like face and body detection. You can find cheaper cameras for around $100 in price, but you often lose out on the resolution and advanced features with all of those other cameras. Where my big criticism comes in, much like my Eufy Cam E review, is around the integrations. The only integrations available right now are with Amazon and Google. If you link up your Eufy security account with something like a Google Home, you can view live video feeds on any Google smart device with a screen, like a Google Nest Hub. While it works, it's very slow to respond. It's five seconds or more for the feed to get going, which at this point makes it useless in conjunction with responding to a doorbell ring. There's no IFTTT support or integrations into platforms like SmartThings, Hubitat, or Home Assistant, which greatly limits some of the benefits of Eufy compared to other systems that do. For instance, with Ring, I'm able to trigger my porch light if motion's detected at the front door after sunset. 
It may seem like a small nitpick, but there are a lot of upsides when you can integrate a device like this into the rest of your smart home. I'm also surprised that their doorbell can't tie into the Eufy Cam hub in some fashion, at least yet. It'd be fantastic if you could have the doorbell back up its video clips to the SD card in the Eufy Cam hub. I'm also surprised you can't set up an RTSP video stream to a Synology disk station or other device just like you can with the Eufy Cam security cameras. Hopefully they'll roll out more integrations like this over time and based on their track record, I think they probably will. I like to maintain tighter control over my privacy and data. So locally hosted gear is a big selling point. It's one of the reasons I really like the Eufy Cam E security cameras over something like the Arlo cameras. Even though Arlo can back up locally to an SD card, it's just a backup. You can't opt out of the cloud storage. Eufy has taken the path of local storage first for all of their products. This is a move and design direction I can really get behind. You still get many of the great features of competing products, but with the benefit of your data being encrypted and in your control at all times. The Eufy Video Doorbell beats out the competition on price and core features, but it falls short on integrations for right now. If tying your video doorbell into services like IFTTT are a must for you, then I'd recommend looking elsewhere. But if you want a high quality video doorbell that remains local, Eufy should be at the top of your list. They're really putting out some great security gear. Now jump into the comments and let me know what video doorbells you're using and how they're working out for you. I'm also curious how many of you are putting local data and privacy at the top of your feature list. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends because it really does help the channel. There are some other ways that you can support the channel too. Check out my SFSF shop for some cool Tesla, SpaceX, Science, and Undecided t-shirts. There's also other links in the description for some great gear and discounts. And as always, an extra big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Your support is really helping to make these videos possible. And over the past month, there's been a bunch of new folks jumping in. Welcome to all of you. Be sure to check out my Patreon page for additional details about joining the crew. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to get alerts when I post new videos. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.